Welcome friends, it's Frank here and today's topic is that on infant baptism. What does the Bible say on infant baptism? Here's the thoughts in under three minutes. You know what the Bible says on infant baptism and all scholars will agree? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's very silent on that subject. Although it's been debated for, for centuries, it absolutely there's no grounds for it or is it is silent for it. Now, in saying that, both have their arguments. So I'm going to be just explaining what I see in the Scriptures says. Um, we know Jesus uh, in his, if you like, the Great Commission to the Apostles said, Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. Right. So here is a core in your teaching. When you talk about the Gospel, if someone accepts the Gospel, baptize them. And so it follows. Jesus got baptized. He encouraged then, therefore, his followers to baptize others who, once they received the gospel, they should be baptized. Which means there must be some sort of confession of their faith. That means, therefore, there must be some reasoning, right, behind that. And so we see that um, baptism in this context with the gospel message is associated by belief and faith as opposed to water although water is a following subsequent uh, action of someone's belief and we see that with the Ethiopian eunuch we see that with Cornelius Cornelius was already saved the Holy Spirit was already upon him when Peter arrived and he said hey let's get baptized so baptize, baptism is a uh, water baptism, that is, therefore, is a form of celebration. It's a theatrical display of what is happening in the supernatural. So salvation really is a faith issue. It's a heart issue, not a water issue. And that's what we have to remember. So can a, a an infant, a baby, have this heart trans, uh, transferred by their belief? I'll leave that up to you to decide. I'm not going to put uh, words in your mouth so I don't want to be disrespectful to those who do believe in water baptism of infants but water bit as I said water uh, baptism is a public demonstration of something that's already occurred in my understanding Paul talked about one faith one one Lord one faith one baptism did he not so what are the requirements of baptism therefore simply to believe in Jesus Acts 2 41 with the Ethiopian we said um, they gladly received his word and were baptized, Cornelius, uh, sorry, the Ethiopian. Is there a minimum age? I would say children are old enough to understand and make their choice. It is a personal decision. Baptism is a powerful witness, especially in these days. Who can, who can baptize me? Is it my pastor, elder? Do I need to be part of a specific group? No. Any believer, baptized believer in the Lord can baptize another person. So baptism is ultimately a personal decision, an expression of faith. That's what we have to remember. So to baptize an infant or not is a matter of personal conviction and interpretation of Scripture. That is my truth in under, in not under, but in three minutes. Thanks for listening, guys. Take care.